when when people going into hospital can feel anxious or can feel like they're being judged um, because of the colour of the skin or their background or even their name. Um, yeah, so it, it can be very, 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 uh, 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 very traumatic. We have a problem because when we go in a hospital, we have a language problem. Then I'm scared because I didn't explain them very well. And maybe they don't treat me what I wanted. That is make me more scared. Because we're in a rural setting, it's that potentially I might be seeing multiple people and not the same face all the time. So then it's always consistently sharing my story over and over and over again. I think people with disabilities may have a number of needs outside of what we would think of. Yeah. Um, so again, it's about having that open, honest, holistic conversation at the start. You know, you, you went to a, a hospital and because it's not somewhere that, we, somewhere that we frequent, we often don't know what to ask or we're scared to ask that, that there might be some rebuff and, and um, you know, we might be looked after as well. If you've come from home and, you know, if you've just been brought into the hospital in an ambulance and you've left your wallet and your phone and everything at home because you're at home alone, you know, just offering that extra support because I feel like it's the little things that make a difference and it can be as simple as, you know, aren't you such and such are here by yourself? Is there someone we can get to come along? Understanding that as part of Aboriginal culture is community in support is really, really important. Your visitors being able to come and visit you and your loved ones being able to come in without like guilt or feeling like they're um, being a burden on um, anybody that's in the room, you know, that kind of thing. The staff need to understand that they're not just there to do a clinical job, that they have to build a rapport with the patient yes. and the family and or carer. Then the patient and the, and the family are going to be more likely to ask questions it's very important that, you know, while you're getting informed, you should also have, I guess, a level of choice and control as to what what sort of treatments you're after and, um, and being provided the best information and the best follow-up to be able to process that, to work your way through that. The wraparound supports for a person with a disability are imperative to them being a successful patient, I suppose. Yeah. In, in that setting. Um, if they have their continued supports with them, they'll do a lot better. They'll get well, I believe, quicker mm. if, if they're supported through their journey, no matter how short or long they're there. A relationship with my healthcare professional where there is trust and confidentiality, especially in small towns, that makes a big difference. Um, that you need to be able to trust your healthcare professional, you need to have a lot of confidence in them, and you need to know that if at any point in time you cannot make the call for yourself, that they will make the call that is A, best for you, and that will align with your priorities. I think finding the right GP- I would agree. Um, is, is really important, and trusting um, the people that are, that are working um, on your health with you, either in hospital or in a medical centre. Um, and I suppose we, we use the word validation um, for being validated, that you're being listened to and um, the person that you trust with your health care respects uh, you and is doing the best for you. I don't think people want to be rushed. No. Um, we don't want to be rushed when we're making decisions around our health. Um, and people with disabilities are no different to the rest of us. We just need to take time and be given the information um, so we can make informed choices. I think having a choice, like being informed, um, like an authentic open conversation about um, what's available, um, being able to ask questions when you're not sure of what is the information is, is being delivered, um, and I think being able to have access to care um, and just, you know, being able to be human in a process that can be quite either daunting or, um, you know, sometimes just a little bit scary. Yeah. When you're hearing all of the medical terminology and the, the acronyms and, and all of that sort of thing, it can be very hard. So simplifying the way you're saying it and, and just being transparent in what you're doing. You know, like if you're giving someone medication, tell them what the medication is. If you're sending someone for a test, tell them why you're sending them for a test. 
for me is uh, we wanted a doctor can explain us uh, what's happening because sometimes they just a little bit explain and we don't understand what's happening in the future is this is a serious that is not serious because some illness is is very serious but i know that the health services health staff see a lot of people throughout the day but it is something as little as remembering an auntie's name it's, it's about respect it's about support it's about understanding their needs it's about empathy and it's about holistic care